So what's going on guys, this is Kyle here, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I have another episode of Player Battles for you guys. You you guys seem to really enjoy this series. Um, the last episode got 25 likes, which is crazy for a channel of my size to get 25, like, 25 likes on two videos in a row. It's just crazy. And I also hit 250 subscribers, which I am just so over the moon over. Cannot thank you guys enough for subscribing to the channel and just watching my videos in general. But yeah, today we have the Inform Dyer versus the Inform Oxalate Chamberlain. And they're both really hyped up players. Uh, they're also both really, really good players. As you can see from the stats, uh, Dyer has 10 more shooting. Uh, Oxalate has 4 more pace. And D he also has 20 more passing, which is a lot more passing. Uh, and I think Dyer has the better dribbling, I'm not sure. But still, we use him in a Silver Prem team. And yeah, the in-game stats. Dyer has the better stats, in my opinion. 87 ball control. 84 curve, 86 dribbling, 96 finishing, which is absolutely crazy for a silver. He also has 93 shot power, which again is just crazy for a silver. Uh, he also has 4 star skill moves, which is really, really nice. And the thing that bothers me about this player is that he's got high defensive work rate. Work rate and it's just it's so annoying when a player has high defensive work rate. He just can't like go forward. It's like Danilinho. He just sits in the midfield most of the time. But yeah, Oxalate has 85 curve. 82 dribbling, 79 finishing, um, 81 short pass, so he doesn't have any really amazing stats like Dyer, but he still has some decent stats. He's only got three stair skills, and but he's got some amazing, amazing physical attributes, as you can see. Uh, if, if he was four stair skills, I would say he'd be one of my be one of the best silvers on the, on the game, one of my favourite silvers on the game. But yeah, we're going to be getting into the clips now with Oxlade. Uh, yeah, he's a really, really good player, guys. Um, I would really recommend him if you were going to try him out. I'd say just have a go with him. Uh, I wouldn't say he'd fit everyone's play style. Um, he's I liked him to be honest. He's got the pace. It says he has ninety three pace. He really lives up to that. Uh, it's like he just bursts past players. And I know some players. It says they have you know ninety six pace like Walcott, and it doesn't really live up to it. But he actually lives up to the ninety three pace. And his shot also is really nice. It says he has 70 shot. And I think it's better than that. His his finesse shot is really, really nice. As you can see, he's got a pretty decent finesse shot. And But I really what I really like to do with him is just go into the box and just smash it. As you can see, like that. Just really like doing that. Just cutting it into the box and just, you know, smashing it. That's what I found works best with him. His finesse shot can be a little, uh, a little bit iffy at times. Sometimes it goes on target. Sometimes it just goes out for a throw in. Uh, but he, I got really unlucky with him as well. I usually hit the post with him lots and lots of times. Uh, he, he just was really unlucky. I, I could have scored some really nice goals, but hit the post. Uh, he doesn't have a good long shot, in my opinion. I, I don't know whether I, I like didn't like it the couple of times I did try it or whether I didn't try it enough. But I don't really like his long shot. It's not that good. And yeah, I just go in the box and hit it with him. But yeah, we're going to be getting into Dyer now. And I didn't score as many goals with Dyer as I did with Oxlade. Uh, he's got a really nice shot, as you can see, just powers it. Uh, it's more accurate than um, than uh, Oxlade's shot, in my opinion. It's more accurate, but I think it's just not as good for some reason. Oxlade seems to be more consistent, and Dyer's just seems to be a bit weird sometimes. Like, it says he has 80 shot, but his finesse shot is horrible for me. He scored one finesse shot in the games I played with him. That's the one I scored with him, and the rest have just been power shots. Uh, this is a really nice goal, actually, that I scored with him. This is probably the best goal that I scored. And it's just, you know, just a normal long shot. Nothing really special about him. Uh, I wouldn't say he's, you know, amazing. He's good, but he's not amazing. Uh, I don't think he's really, you know, should be hyped up to what he is. But, yeah, I give Dyer a 7 out of 10 and Oxlade an 8 out of 10. Uh, the closest one yet in the series, but yeah, I think it was close enough. And for the pros for Dyer, I gave decent pace, good long shot, decent finesse, not as good as 96. Uh, four star skills, which I really, really like. He also has nice dribbling, and his cons is, as stated, the finesse is a bit of a letdown. He has terrible, horrible passing, and it misses a lot of 1v1s with that finesse shot of his. It's not really that good. And I put worth it, yes. But I wouldn't really say he's worth it. I'd say he'd be worth around 70k at max. Uh, but you can try him out if you want to. Then Oxlade pros is beast pace, amazing dribbling, really nice shot and decent passing. And then the cons is no 4 star skills, which is the only letdown. If he was 4 star skills, he would have gotten a 10 out of 10. Because you could just get around players so easily with him and worth it, yes. 
So thank you guys for watching this uh, video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I just really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing to the channel, as I said. And next week, I'll give you the choice of who you want me to do. Some guys said uh, inform team of the season, Rius uh, versus Podolski. So if you guys want to see that, just put it in the comments. And if you want to see I Man of the Match, Torres versus the team of the season, Aguero, which is a really, really big one, then put that in the comments. And yeah, I'll give you the choice from now on and who you want to see. If you want to see someone else, just put it in the comments. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. And look forward to the next episode. Peace.